Hello, hello, all right, everybody. I'm back, and it's Friday, right? So you know we got Friday. We got new stuff. Every Friday is like Christmas, right? Um, when you're a card guy, right? Every week, it's Christmas Day. Um, it's what you love about it, right? <laughs> Get crack, rip it open, right? It's like you're a kid, right? Big kids. Um, but anyway, got two of these today. These were 35 bucks a pop. I was just gonna get one. Then there was another guy there who was like, man, I pulled some good stuff out of those last year and this and that and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, man, give me another one. <laughs> Take another one. Uh, then I grabbed just two of these as well. I thought these were like the original. I, I didn't see the draft picks at first. I was going to get three. Um, then I seen the draft picks on it and I put one back and I picked up a select. So that's what happened there. Then I also just grabbed the display for Top Series 2, like the double packs retail packs that the two packs are like 6.98 a piece i got the whole display of that so that's going to be a fun rip this weekend to do as well um so let's get into the select right here real quick that's what this video is for um the man i'll tell you what i didn't see that there were only 12 cards <laughs> that 35 bucks you're talking three cards three bucks per card that's a way way over what it I think is acceptable and i did not see that so uh bad on me uh would have just got one then definitely um just just to rip it open just check it out maybe hopefully you got the got a, a wander rookie out of that one so i mean the hobbies two autos two mems for like one 140 so obviously probably the better choice out of this stuff is the hobby boxes I say that and I pull something ridiculously good, right, out of this, but that's okay. I'm three packs, 35 bucks. <laughs> oh, man. Oof. Hopefully it's hot. Hopefully it's hot. Uh, basically the same rookies that are in, you know, everything else so far. Nothing, nobody, no new entries at this point in the season. Okay, right here we got a Giancarlo Stanton. The, these are retail blue. And here we got a Mike Zuina. And it's like our, like a scope, prism scope. We got Brandon Marsh in the back. Select stars, insert. Well, Brandon Marsh is one of those guys that we like. The glare on these things. Ooh, look at that one. Nice cards, man. But, oof. Jeez. That's a concourse prism. Scope. Let's go ahead and leave that thing up. What did it say? Let's take a look. Unwrap one hollow parallel. So I get that one. I guess that was my one. Uh, and blaster scoop. No, that was a scope. Okay, so we still get one hollow. And what's the odds on the... No odds. All right, this is Panini. They're not going to give us any odds. Well, they do, actually. No, it says what's in there. So you can get number cards. Show A. Moonshots. Uh-oh. We got a mem here, folks. Well, at least we got something. Jose Abreu. The blue. Retail blue. And here we got Sony Tony Santillan. We got another scope, retail scope, so the one per pack. Eh. Eh. Don't know too much about Tony the Reds. Got some good young players though, man. Tyler Stevenson, Jonathan India. Okay, that's good. That's clean. That's just on the uh, sleeve there. All right. So we did get a mem. We get another mem or we get an auto, that'd be like half of a hobby box. So that'd be cool. And there's your scope. Concourse. And here we got a moonshots. Not a prism. Just a base insert. Show A, but it's still a show A. Nice looking card. I don't see any. Look at it with the blind eye here. I don't see any defects or anything like that on that. It looks pretty clean, folks. 
it does look pretty clean. The condition on these looks pretty good. You know me, I'm a condition, I'm a condition freak. I'm a condition kind of guy. No matter you get a good card if it's looks like crap, then you know whatever, right? Unless it's a really really good card, then it don't matter. <laughs> oh boy! All right, here we go. And fuego, woof, fire. Fire. Max Scherzer. Not bad, not bad. Nice nice card. I think he's hurt, right? The whole year he's he's out pretty much. After that big contract. Tough break. This is our first uh different one because I think all we gotten so far is like concourse. What was this one? This one was a diamond level. Wow, I didn't notice that. Okay. Let's leave that up then. Even though it was a trader Lindor that left my tribe. Dabby Swanson. Premier level prism. You're using a lot of sleeves on this stuff, folks. Sorry, but. Don't want this stuff to get scratched. It does look like it's pretty good condition right there so far. So I like to keep them that way just because I do sell a lot of my singles on my eBay. Link down below. Um, and people, everybody wants their stuff in good shape. Miguel Cabrera, is that a club level? No, it was a concourse prism. Yeah, it's the same as the other ones. Duh. Looked a little different. Maybe because they got that prism gloss to it. Nice Miguel. He's having a good season too. So everybody that thought he was like washed up, I think again, I mean, well, he's on Detroit, but so that's not saying much about him being the best hitter on the team right now, but three packs. Wow. Still can't get over that. 85 bucks for 12 cards. Oh, Hunter Renfro. That was too. I gotta watch that. Yeah, that was a premiere for the Soto. Oh, there we go. There we go. Please tell me it's a. It is a scope. Nice. Well, you know what? I said, well, maybe I'll get one. I'll get a couple boxes. Maybe I'll get one. How's it looking? It's looking good. I know he's not really producing. He's had some injuries. He's, he's been hurt. He missed a little bit of time. I think he's only hitting like 260 something. But he just came back. I don't know how long he was out for. I think he was only out for like maybe a month. I'm not 100% for Premier level prism. Scope. Wander. Well, I'm glad I got two boxes. Maybe this would have been the one I would have bought though. All right? What freaking luck. Dude, I've been so lucky pulling this guy this year. So freaking lucky. And this thing looks centered. Looks nice. I've been so lucky. Literally, guys, this is all I got is these two boxes of this stuff. I'm going to be doing that Chronicles Draft Picks football next. Max Scherzer. Another Max Scherzer. And that's a silver. Would have been nice to get that Wander and a silver, though. Man, I'm getting greedy now, right? <laughs> <laughs> no mem no mem no mem in this one guys no mem no mem we got another in fuego blue there's a uh, mark canna new york a blue premier level is that what that is orion valade yeah premier level mark canna And Jacob DeGrom with the Enfuego. And this one is not a prism. The Scherzer is a prism. Got that nice little... You can barely see it, to be honest with you. It's... Even out of the sleeve, you can barely see that this one is a prism and this one is not. Just on that base chrome down at the bottom. Gotta have the eye.
And then uh, another rookie, Scope. Concourse. Last pack. I don't care. I got my Wander Rookie. And it's a Premier Level Scope. So, hell yeah. Hit it. Jorge Prolanco. This is a 300 card set, guys, in this thing. So, like, to hit that Wander Rookie with a scope, I think, is like... I got real lucky. Very, very lucky right there. Luke Williams. That's a nice card. When the Phillies... What a nice color match that is. Wow, I like that. Dang. And that retail blue with that red. And a Ryan Sandberg. And last but not least, a Babe Ruth. Is that a prism? No, it's a base. Ryan Sandberg scope. And the last one. So really nice cards, man. I think the condition. Look at the centering. I haven't. I haven't complained once on the centering on these things either. Not once. It's so. It, now I don't, I'm not going to say they're perfect, but I haven't complained. So that means they're not severely out of whack. But even that being said, I think I did get the pull of that case being this one. So I'm not going to go back and get any more. I think that's it. Freaking sweet. Hell yeah. All right, guys. Uh, that's it for this video. I'm going to do a Chronicles draft picks, and I got a whole display of a top series two, the uh, double packs. I can't remember what you call them. Two packs per, like $6.98 a piece. I took the whole display. There's 18 in the display. I got the whole display. So I'm really excited to open up. It was $126 for the display. Uh, plus tax, it came out to like $133. So that's about the price of a hobby box, right? Well, hobby box is like $80, $90. So, but how much is a jumbo? I don't know, but we'll see. I think I, I think I'll get an auto out of that. Probably get a mem, like all the good stuff, like 120. That's what history tells me, because I've done displays before, and usually there's an auto in there. I'm counting on a home field advantage being in there as well. So we'll see how it pans out. If you want to see how that pans out? Look for that video coming up. I'm really anxious to see it because that's something top series too. Like a display of that. If you hit them on restock day or the day after, it's possible you can walk in and you could find that display in a Walmart. Because people are passing it up because it's top series too. You know what I mean? But uh, there's still good cards in there. Tough to hit. <laughs> Tough to hit. That's why you take the whole display. All right, guys. That's it. Bye for now. Off to the next. Later.